Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Mardana with metro number 280596 and Shaira Sharum with metro number 280440 will be presenting about application of calculus in architecture. For introduction, first we need to know what is architecture. Architecture is the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings. It is also both the process and the product of planning, designing and constructing buildings or other structures. There are several timelines for architecture history but it all started when uh, it is the prehistoric time in 11,600 uh, BCE uh, until 350,000 BCE where people moved earth and stone into geometric form. As we have the ancient Egypt, uh, people in the era constructed monumental, monumental pyramids, temples and shrines. As an example, we have the Pyramid of Giza. Next, a Gothic era where they have elements that support taller and graceful architecture. As an example, Notre Dame de Chartres in France. Then we have the Renaissance era. Uh, which their architecture are symmetry, proportion, geometry, and regularity of parts. Next, we have Baroque. Uh, architecture have dynamic designs and complex architectural plan form. Besides that, we also have the books art. Uh, architecture are in order, symmetry, formal design, grandiosity, and elaborate. Next, we have the Neo-Gothic era. It is applied to skyscrapers, which have strong vertical lines and sense of great height, arch, and pointed windows with decorative tracery. Next, we have the Art Deco in the year 1925 until 1937. Their architecture has zigzag patterns and vertical lines. Create, it creates dramatic effect on just age. Next, we also have the uh, year 1900 until now. Architecture has little or no ornamentation, which we call the modernist style. Last but not least, we also have uh, postmodernism uh, architecture the year 1972 until now. It is a combination new idea with a traditional form. People who are involved in the architecture field is Frank Lloyd Wright. He was born in 1867 and died in 1959. He is the creator and ex-founder of organic architecture. He had designed more than 1,000 structures and his style was called prayer style. He is the person who built the falling water mill run in Pennsylvania. Next, we also have Philip Johnson. He was born in 1906 and died in 2005. He is uh, in charge of the modern and postmodern work. He also had received the Golden Plate Award of American Academy of Achievement. He is the person who built the glass house, New Canon in Connecticut. Calculus and architecture relation. Calculus is important for an architect to understand the force acting on the structure he or she designed. Using specialized skills such as integral calculation, an architect provides guidance about ways to reduce building costs, safety measures, and remedies for structural problems with building foundation. Like the picture shown in the slide, this is Leaning Tower of Pisa, that well known as an example of the design plan gone wrong. The building was originally intended to stand upright, but the weight was not accounted for. And early on its construction, it begin leaning over. Wet soil and decay have caused the structure to sink downward and tilt. The tower is just one example of the result of neglecting the map that goes along with the architecture process. Next is, calculus can be utilized by architects to express design and construction plan through graph or drawing. They can mathematically describe surface for the adaptation of drawing to computer software that can be done through various differential equations. Although the Eiffel Tower looks complex, Surprisingly, it can be graphed by the two as two simple equations that shown in this slide by using wind as an ally instead of an obstacle. Thus, the tower was molded by wind. The following title is important of calculus in architecture. Calculus is one of the ways to make sure the structure that designed by the architect are stable and safe for use. Architect use integral calculus to choose the suitable type of support system required to prevent construction from collapsing. Calculus also minimizes the amount of the material needed as well as the cost of the product. This is important because with the value of area and surface volume obtained, architect can calculate the amount of the material needed as well as the cost of the project. Next, it improves our human life. Calculus is used to improve the architecture not only of building but also important infrastructure such as bridges. Bridges are complex construction because they have to be able to support varying amount of weight across large space. The presence of bridge make our life become more easier because for a key concept, we have several key concepts. Uh, first one, we have integral. It is divided into two parts, which is definite integrals and indefinite integrals. Definite integrals are used to find the volume of three-dimensional solids and finding the area under curves and between two curves, while indefinite integrals are used to find displacements and velocity. Next, we have trigonometry. It is basically a calculation with triangles. That is where it is formed. Tri, which is tri triangle, and gonometry. Uh, it studies the relationship involving length, height, and angles of different triangles. Uh, architect uses trigonometry to calculate structure load, roof, slope, ground surface, sun shading, and light angles, and many more. It is next we have trigonometric substitution. It is basically uh, a use in developing infrastructure and calculate the exact angles of intersection for components to be safe and stable. 
uh, we have the technique of evaluating integrals using trigonometry identity to simplify certain integrals containing radical expression. We have three cases of trigonometry substitution, which is the first case a square minus x square, second case a square plus x square, and the third case x square minus a square. Last but not least, we have the reduction formula. It is used when an expression contains an integer parameter. It can be set up to obtain the integral of same expression with lower inter integer parameter. Uh, we have a lot of reduction formula. Method that we use for this assignment. Proper integral is important to design products and identify the volume of the material. There are two proper integral, which is the finite integral and indefinite integral. We use the finite integral to find the volume and area under or between the two blocks. We also use two techniques of substitution, which is integration of substitution that we have learned on topic 5 on the first semester and trigonometric substitution on the topic 2 on this current semester. Next is identity of trigonometry. Identity of trigonometry is a must when you want to solve the trigonometric function. You need to choose the right identity and convert the trigonometric function given to solve the equation more easier and faster. And sometimes, reduction formula is needed to solve the complicated equation like we use in example 1. For next, trigonometric substitution. As we know, we have a three kinds of case and the specific identity is shown in the slide. A application of integration in architecture is used and fulfills customer needs and the right amount of the material needed. Now, for example and analysis, example 1, we have a problem a water storage tank has a shape of cylinder with diameter of 8 feet and length of 10 feet. If Z of water is 7 feet, what is the volume of tank filled with water? Here, I have already uh, cut out the 2D section, which we know the depth of water is 7 feet, so we on the y-axis, we plot negative 4 under 3, and then the diameter is 8 feet, so we plot from negative 4 under 4. Hence, the shaded area curve, we found out that x equals to square root of 60 minus y square. Here we are finding the volume, we need to integrate the shaded part from 0 to 3, square root 60 minus y square dy. Here we can use the uh, expression square root of a square minus x square. Since we use this expression, we need to substitute x equals to a sin theta. In my case, I am using theta equals to u. And then we let y equals to 4 sin u, dy equals to 4 cos du, and then we sin inverse y over 4. In relation, the second line here, we need to factorize this thing out, and then we will get y minus sin square u. Here we can use the identity cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta. And then uh, we substitute into u, and then we would need to use the reduction formula since we factorize 16 outside and it becomes cos square u. So we use the reduction formula, and then we will get the answer 8 cos u sin u plus 8 u integrate from 0 to 3. Since we know that before this u equals to sin inverse y over 4, so we need to sub into the calculation. Here we found out that sin inverse y over 4 times cos, uh, we need to use the inverse formula, which we let sin both sides, and then we know that sin theta equals to x. We know that Pythagoras theorem, uh, sin equals to opposite over hypotenuse. So we draw the um, triangle and we would plot it. And then we need to find the adjacent. We use the Pythagoras theorem again. A sin uh, A equals to uh, square root of 1 minus x square. So the adjacent for cos times sin inverse theta equals to the square root of 1 minus x square. Then we put it back in the calculation. We would integrate from 0 to 3 and get the answer 10.7531 feet. And we need to find the volume of the shaded area. I already write out like this. Do one, we have to times two because it is same shape. And for semicircle, uh, we know that the equation is one over two pi radius square, and the length is ten feet. So the volume of the water in the tank is four hundred sixty six point three eight nine four feet cubic. Okay, for the next example, we have example two. There is a customer want to have a metal table, and the figure show that uh, x is equal to length of the table top, while the y is the height of the table top. So we need to find the volume of the metal necessary to create the metal top. And the given thickness is a set 3 cm. So we want to find the volume of the double top. We need to find the surface area first. We need to find the surface area by integrate. So we need to convert to y first, and we got the y. And then we use a u substitution. So we can see that there is a trigonometric. We can use trigonometric substitution, which is case one, which is a squared minus x squared. So by using trigonometric substitution, we let u equal to 50 sine theta, and differentiate it become 50 cos theta d theta. We got a new lower bound and new upper bound. So uh, after that, we integrate by using the upper bound and lower bound that we got into the, into the equation to find the surface area of the table top. So we can see that there is, um, we can use trigonometric identity, which is that we got the value of the surface area of the table top is 1,255 cm squared. And the question asks us to find the volume. So after that, the volume by uh, area of the metal top, multiply by thickness that given by the equation, the answer 3,755 3, cm cube. So the volume of the metal necessary to be used to create the metal table top is 3,375 cm the conclusion is calculus is everywhere. Wherever you go, what field you choose, you say you still need calculus to solve your problem. Like we can say, architecture field is the art and design of your thing. However, it incorporates many fields of study, like engineering, science, and calculus. 
application of calculus concept is important in architecture field. The application of technique of integration into area of architecture is used. Well, from us, thank you very much for listening and watching the video. Thank you.